In short, she was on first class, which she promised me, Mommy, I will give you first class. I wear my NYC clothes to come and greet you in your school. I want to pay for every sacrifice you have made for us. It didn't come to pass. When they started dating December 1st, 2021, she told me, Mommy, I'm into a relationship. Despite many people that asked her, she didn't accept, said, There's somebody I love, that's okay. Bring to the house. He brought Benjamin to the house. Ask him questions what he do, what he does, his line of business, he open and When he's discussing with you, he will actually give you evidences of what is into making you believe those are the things he was into. So that gave me a little security. If you can bring your boyfriend home, I know the boy, then you'll be secured. And the boy came and I took him as a son. On the 11th of uh, July, he impersonated an uh, Instagram account, somebody in Instagram account to chat out to come see in Lagos. And she said, okay, when I come to Lagos, I'll come see you. Then Benjamin now called me, mommy, since I've been dating Augusta, she has not cheated on me. But you know she's replying in a chat for a hookup. I said, well, I didn't train her like that. And if she wants to do like that, I will talk to her, but please, uh, I will talk to her. She's not that kind of a child. Immediately, Augusta called me, Mommy, Benjamin has logged me out of my Instagram account, and that is where I make my money, telling to give me the account back, and I'm done with this relationship. So I called Benjamin. Benjamin, release that account back to Augusta. He did, and Augusta called back that, yes, he has released the account back to her. Around 11, I read back to my daughter, Mommy, how are you? How are you doing? I said, Mommy, I don't know. She has forwarded a voice to me. I don't know. Benjamin is like, he's going to deal with me. We show me. Uh, he swear by his mother's grief. But Mommy, not be afraid. Nothing will happen. Soon after that, he called me, Mommy, I'm going to deal with Augusta. I'm not going to kill her. I said, what is killing has to do with say I'm going to collect everything I bought for her. I said, well, for the last time I checked, he didn't buy a car, he didn't buy a house, he didn't buy her anything, maybe a, eh, or maybe bag. So it's not a problem, but until she comes. Not knowing the next day my daughter left for the place, how he deceived her to come, because she would not move that kind of move without telling me. She only told her, her roommate, Onida Mola, that she, She's having issue with her boy, but which that one didn't even tell me to. When she got down the 12th, Benjamin killed her immediately after 12 midnight that day. Collected her phone, was chatting me with her phone. Now he will go and copy Augusta. The exact way she used to reply me is how he will copy and piece back to me, making me believe that she was the one chatting me. So on Saturday morning, my son reached out to me early morning, Mommy, I said yes. He said, when did you speak with Augusta last? I said, uh, we chatted yesterday, but I tried calling her, she wasn't picking, and she, had, she doesn't do that way. Mommy, go and look for her. I said, okay, let me go to Ibadan. No, you don't need to go to Ibadan. My sister is too smart to go missing, too intelligent to be kidnapped. Go to Benjamin's house. I said, I don't know Benjamin. He said, wait, let me call Onida. So he called Onida and first found out from Onida. When did you speak to my sister last? When I told my sister, my son, that actually Augusta called down when he said I was going to see the boyfriend, they were having issues, and uh, he asked her, did you tell your mom? She said, no, I didn't tell my mom. I said, no, that is an error. Augusta couldn't be telling me that I didn't tell my mom and all that. I mean, my daughter has a school, a godmother, a major's wife. So I called her, your goddaughter, we are looking for her. We got a military police, followed us to the place. They allowed us to enter and get in there. He has locked the gate. He has locked the gate. Our car was parked. So Nida was like, as we're going for a drama, I don't know the route, this will take us. I was just looking at her. So my daughter's grandmother said, let's get her arrested. She knows what happened. It's happening right now. I said, no, I'm not after her. I'm after my daughter, let's see her. AC was put on in the upstairs, but the door was locked. And the windows upstairs were all open with the AC on. So I called my brother. I said, Chicks, I said, I have the feeling my daughter is dead there. He said, no, auntie, don't talk that way. As my brother climbed, came down, I said, what did you see? He said, auntie, nothing. I guess uh, maybe they went out with the boy's car. But she had this saw. So he went. All that time, he went, discussed with the police, paid him money to evacuate the body to the morgue that night. I didn't know. Then on 16th of July, he was church, went to church. He came back from church. He broke the news. 
and my daughter is in the, was in the morgue. After I ran out of I contacted him because he chats me daily. I said, well, here's the autopsy. No body part is missing, so you can come out now to the police so that you can really, to my face, tell me what really happened because I can't get it. She was giving multiple stab, stab on her belly button that her intestines were out. And the worst thing, you left her to blot out a week to her barrier. I placed a barrier this thing on my status, uh, the flyer, the banner on my status. So I didn't know how he viewed status because his number doesn't go. He has cloned his number. So he now said, Mommy, I can view your status. You're burying Augusta on the night. I, I want to send money for the 50 bucks. So now they need a dime from you to bury my daughter. I'm not even burying her. My siblings will bury her for me. I don't need a dime from you. Come out. All I need is for you to come out. And to my face, tell me. So before you know, he came online and started shading me. I'm a fake pastor. I am this. Because I remember when they went for their last vacation. So that vacation people say she has enjoyed. They went for vacation. I asked him, how do you make money for this vacation you are going? And he showed me receipt of the Spotty Betty one. I said, no. he said, oh, put this money into business. Why take it on vacation? Say, mommy wants in a why. That was when he started planning to kill her. And he got there, he beat her up. And she told her to lie to me that she fell. To cut the long story short, we tracked Benjamin as a family to Sierra Leone. And we pushed SP, Commissioner of Police, Lagos State, then Ido, or Guy Do, to help us declare wanted. He was declared wanted on 13th. Now, on Nigeria Interpol, they started working on papers to go bring him. They tried, but they were not proactive enough. They were to go there on uh, November 27th to bring him back. By November 26th, they said to, there was a prison break, there was a coup attempt, and he left. And I have the video. As he was escaping, they say he's escaped. They gave, I saw where they were handling his phone, my daughter's phone, his laptop, everything they seized from him were given to him. And the IGs in that day, the IG of Sierra Leone stopped replying my calls, stopped picking my calls, stopped replying my messages. And uh, I said, okay, if it's a coup and it's prison break, he will come back. Then after a long three days, all the prisoners from Sierra Leone, they brought them back to prison. Only Benjamin was not brought back. Since that day to today, Sierra Leone police didn't declare him wanted, the IG. Now they wrote to Nigeria on 23rd of December that the criminal under the act care has also escaped. Nigeria too has not written, they have not made any public statement. My baby, like people will say, she's this, she's that, no. What you see on social media is her job, and strictly her job. She's a different person completely. Uh, bloggers carried a lot of negative narrative to pass. Some said, some bloggers carried it that, no, he bought a mansion for them. To the glory of God, you are in my house today. My, my city, my living room, cannot occupy more than five persons or four persons. He didn't buy a car for her. She has bought her car before they met. He didn't buy a car for me. I'm still using my two horses that I've been using since 2018. You don't make money out of someone's pains. Make inquiries, find out. I'm begging on Nigerians. I'm begging on people globally to come to my aid. I don't have the money. Best Benjamin saw me less, and that is why he did that. I don't have the connections, but I know people out there will be of help to me. So please, both the presidency, House of Representatives, the Senate, should please come to my aid. The women that know what it pains to go through what I'm going through. I hide my pains, yet I still cover these pains to work for God because I told God one thing. You gave this baby to me, and if you have given her to me, you permitted her to be taken, I will still serve you. So I'm still serving God regardless, but I want people to come and help me in this case so that justice will be served. Mm -hmm.